Hey folks, Coach Grandpa here. Well, let's talk about something I've been really hesitating to go over with, and that's what I've been telling myself I'm going to have to face up and justify what I've done. And I thought about it, and this is my justification, but I've retired my Glock concealed weapons carry. You're probably wondering why, because if you see enough videos, everybody says you need to get a Glock. <laughs> but I don't like having a concealed weapon chambered. They say, then what the heck, why have a concealed weapon if you're not going to chamber it? That's me. I'm old-fashioned. You know, I don't, I don't like to have a semi-automatic chambered, and especially if it don't have a safety. You know, I, in the early stages before everybody got to start getting Glocks, you know, everybody was raised with a safety. So I felt comfortable. I didn't care what it was aiming at. You know, I, it was safety. You know, so I did carry it chambered. But once I got the Glock, I did. I don't know what it was. It was just something that, that little tally whacker on that trigger. All it has to do is go with the trigger. And I figured, I used to watch me put it in in my holster and seeing what would catch on that trigger. What would could catch me shoving it in between my belt, my pants, my underwear, and whatever else I had hidden in my pants. And could my tr could that trigger blow your privates off? Could you put enough pressure on it? And it just scared me. And I kept on thinking, no, no, it's not. It's not enough pressure. It's not going to do it. So I was never comfortable. I never felt comfortable. So I went to a 357. Can't stand the grips. Can't stand the control. Can't stand the sight picture. Can't stand 357, Smith & Wessons, anybody who makes one. Didn't like the 1911. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, for somebody that has a concealed carry, <laughs> you're not doing too well. And it's all about comfort, and that's the way I feel. If you're not comfortable, you really shouldn't have it. You need to get comfortable with it. And I never could get comfortable with the Glock as it concealed, shoved down my pants, pointing straight at my tally whacker. 357. I even got an SLB. Got an SLB, but you know SLBs, they got snapped in, it's all pressure. You know, so I'm always constantly going back there and pushing her, pushing her into where people are thinking, are you picking your underwear out of your ass? <laughs> oh, no, I'm putting my Glock back in my holster because I'm thinking it's slipping out. <laughs> so, not comfortable, and it shows in your day-to-day -day life. So, this is what I went with. <laughs> After trying those two formats, I went back to them, my six-shooter, single action. And i really glad I did. She's in 45. That's one round. Two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, five rounds, six rounds. Six rounds. But I really like her. The Glock, two handed deployment if you don't have her chambered. So when you take her out, you gotta rack around, rack around, rack around, use the back of your shoe, rack around, just to get her out. Her, she's already got chambered. She, like, every single one of those is chambered. All I have to do is cock it. I'm saying, well, it's 357. I didn't like the grips on the 357. It sucked. I take it out and point it to you, point it down every time. It's the way the grip is. You take this out and just, oh, she's just there. She's there, folks. Very, very easily. Shoved in the pants. That's why I wish T-Rex or somebody would come up with a really good concealed weapon for these. They're probably thinking, why? You're going to be the only guy that buys it. I'm thinking, yeah, you're probably right. So I need to make one like how T-Rex started out. He started making his holster. So maybe I'll start making one for this. But I really need one because I just shove her down like gangster days. I just shove her down there. I don't have a holster. So when I'm going to the store or something, I got her shoved down there. And I'm praying to God. And I'm making sure I got tight pants on so she don't fall out. <laughs> it's not a safe situation, but I'm more comfortable in a, a hairy situation with her than any other weapon. She's in 45, so she's going to have knockdown. I only have six shots. I'm not too worried about it. If, if you think about it, if it's going to take more than six, six shots, then I'm, I need to start walking around with my Daniel Defense um, PDW. <laughs> the DDM4. PDW and 300 blackout, <laughs> start walking around with 30 mag clips, 30 round mags. But 
concealed weapon. This is her. This is what I carry right now. I got her on this holster, which is like, uh, are you serious? That's a hunting holster. It's not really a concealed holster. I don't have a concealed holster, so it bites, I'll admit, but it's a single deployment. I love that. I just love that. I love the grip. I can maneuver her. I can swing her around like John Wayne, so I can't do that with any other weapon. I don't, I don't know what it is, so call me crazy, call me old, call me stupid. Just don't call me collector or late for dinner. But think about it though, folks. I think, I think I'm on to something here. Not unless you like walk around with a chambered round in your weapon point at your tally whacker. Guess you guys don't mind that shit. I do. So. All right. Glad you watched. I hope I didn't forget anything. I've already, this is like the third, fourth take because I've always forgot something to talk about. So hopefully I covered everything, justified my actions, and that you're not going to be too brutal on me. But uh, let me know. Am I totally crazy or just part time? <laughs> Appreciate you watching though. And this is brought to you by Planters Peanuts that are totally eaten and thrown away already. Thanks a lot.